So for today, we're going to be working with algebraic equations and algebraic expressions. So what's the difference between the two? Algebraic expression, by definition, contains numbers, math operations, variables, with no equal sign. So basically, an expression doesn't have an equal sign in your numerical equation. So for example, 2 plus 3 is an algebraic expression because there's no equal sign. x plus y is also an algebraic expression. 2x plus 3y and square of 7x plus 5 plus 3. So all four examples that I have just mentioned are all algebraic expressions because they don't contain an equal sign. Now an algebraic equation is an algebraic notation with math operations and numerical expressions equated to another algebraic expression. So an example of algebraic equation will be 2 plus 5 equal to y, x plus 3 equal to 7y, up until the square of 3x plus 8 equal to 6. So if you'll notice, expression doesn't have an equal sign and equation will have the equal sign symbol so that's how you basically look at it into its differences now to be able to understand writing and translating algebraic expression into its numerical expressions you need to understand and remember the words associated with each mathematical operations. So I'm going to show you the four basic operations and the words associated for each one. So for addition, the words associated with addition will be sum, plus, increased by, more than, and added to. So if you see these words or some of these words in an algebraic expressions or equations, you'll be able to understand that you are adding in that particular equation or expressions. Now for multiplication, we have words associated to it like product, times, of, multiplied by, and at. And for subtraction, we have difference, minus, decreased by, fewer than, and less than. And for division, we have quotient, divided by, ratio of, and per. Now, if you'll remember all these words, you will see this in some algebraic expressions or word problems in algebra. And if you know the words associated to that problems, you'll be able to understand how to solve the word problems in that particular problem. Here are some examples on how you, ra how you write an algebraic expressions or equations into its numerical form. Now, for example, number one, I have the sum of a number and 12 is 7. Now, the word, the key word here is sum, and we know that sum is for addition. So here we have a number and 12 being added together is equal to 7. So if you translate this into a numerical equation, it will be n plus 12 equal to 7. Now, the letter that I used here is letter N, and this N can be changed. You can use X, Y, A, or any letters in the alphabet to replace a number in your equation. So this is how you represent the algebraic equation, because it has an equal sign, into its numerical equation. Now, for number two, I have the product of a number and seven. So our keyword here is product. So product is associated with multiplications. And there are several ways on how you represent multiplications in a math notation. You can use the famous x sign for multiplication, or you can just put together the numerical value and the variable, and you know that they are being multiplied to each other, and parentheses. So to represent this algebraic expression into its numerical form, it will be n times 7, or you can write it out as 7n, or parentheses 7, parentheses n. And there are several ways on how to represent multiplication in mathematics. And you should be aware of those notations so that you will understand better how to write it. Now for number three, we have the quotient of six and the number is 15. So we have our keyword quotient. We have our number six and a number here that can represent any letters of the alphabet is 15. So when you write it down into its numerical form, the quotient of 6 and a number is 15 is basically written as 6 over x is equal to 15 or 6 divided by x is equal to 15. And once again, there are several ways on how to write this out. And this 2 right here are basically how you write this 
equation into its numerical form. You can use a fraction or this division symbol. And for the last example, I have 2 decreased by the sum of 3 and a number. Now, in example number 4, it's different from 1, 2, and 3 because we have two operations in one algebraic expression. So here we have decreased and sum. So we have two operations and that's subtraction and addition. So to represent this into a numerical expression, it will be 2 minus parenthesis 3 plus y. And this is how you represent the algebraic expression into its numerical form. Now, take note that number 1 and number 3 are both considered as equations because you have the equal sign symbol in their numerical form. And for number 2 and number 4, they are expressions because you don't see any equal sign on those expressions. So that's how you write an algebraic expressions or equation into its numerical form.